this video is going to be about this. This is called a lathe knife. And uh, certainly a game changer. Whether it's a skew killer, I don't know. But it's an awesome piece of kit. Let me show you what I can do. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave some links in the bottom of the video. Um, but these images that you're seeing now on, are from some Russian YouTubers who've been using this sort of tool probably all their turning life. And look at this, look at what they do when, when they're cutting with this tool. Can you see that wood just peeling off? And that's common. You see the kind of donut that's fallen off? The... the cut that's left behind is absolutely smooth beautiful finished and there's a piece of work with a tool about the size of the one i made um absolutely awesome skill so i got in touch with one of them and i asked very ignorant really what this tool was called and uh and the guy replied um in russian <laughs> and i used uh, google translate and obvious in hindsight but this tool is called a lathe knife I'd, I'd seen this discussed before i've been looking at this type of type of chisel for a while now and i'd seen people talk about it once before back in or oh, 2018 or something so this is me using um the first one of these i made now it was quite small i, I converted um an, an english bidan tool which i never used uh, and I managed to make a small uh, one of these lathe knife. Now here's a typical example. When you go in point first, you, you get that donut of wood coming off. This is English oak uh, that I'm cutting there. And you can see a perfect little ring of wood coming off. Now I, I don't tend to get that. Um, don't get that with a skew and it leaves a really lovely smooth finish I'm going to show you why I think they're pretty good or at least I'm going to try to okay so here's a normal skew alright this is a one inch one and I'm just going to take it along here and tidy up that edge I know about that. Okay, now look at the angle the, of the blade on the wood. Right? Let's stop it there. So the angle of that blade cutting the wood, getting a nice finish, is about, and I might have a pencil here, it's about 45, right? So there's the angle of the blade. There's the, there's the length of the wood. So that angle there is about 45, right? To get a similar angle, uh, using the lathe knife, the tool's going to be there. Not there. It's going to be around there. So essentially, the way I approach the job with the lathe knife is slightly different. So my body position is going to be different. To use my skew, I'm quite against the lathe. My body, my hips and everything, they're against the lathe to get that angle. Whereas using the lathe knife, I'm more in front of the job. All right. So let me try and show you with the lathe knife. Same thing, ride the bevel, get a nice cut, 
same thing in the other direction. And you're left with the same sort of beautiful smooth cut that you get from skew. So bevel, bevel, turn. Bite in. More aggressive, the more you turn around. Now, what other type of things can you do with this, which I tend not to do with the skew? Well, you've got all of this edge, okay? You've got the point. Uh, like the toe and you've got the heel you can go straight in with that point I and mean, I call that a push cut okay or a delve cut and that'll just go straight into the wood you can also do what I call a drop cut using this so from above you can come down and cut in that way as long as the wood spin hits a sharp edge you tend not to get any catches it can run away from you if you've got a two vertical it can sk skate up the wood um, but you try to keep an eye on that. So let me just show you a couple of those. So going in point first, and then push in, and push in. Then I'm going to try and cut into that. Letting the tool do this. And you can see maybe from the shine of that, it's nice and smooth. On the other side. So using the toe, tilt it over, and gradually once you got your cut, push it down and you get a beautiful cut
just playing around really. Um, and you can see, there's no sanding on this, but you can see the shine and yet on some of the edges there. Just messing about. <clears throat> and I'm much happier doing that with this tool. Uh, the muscular thing. And I'm getting better every time I use it. And the other good thing about it is that this is basically... It's basically a knife. All right? So you can sharpen it like you would sharpen a knife. So I've got a little pocket sharpener here. And I can just take that blade and... Using the knife sharpener like it's a knife. Just tidy up that edge, put a new edge on it. All right. Or you could use your normal kitchen knife sharpener, you know, like one of them, and take that round over the edge to get an edge that way. All right, just over the edge. Or what I've got on my lathe, uh, which I've had for a bit now, is I've got a diamond card there. I think it's, I can't remember what grit it is. But spray a bit of oil on there and I can just go back and forwards, turn it around, back and forwards, and I can use that to get the edge on. And so we'll say I don't have to go to the grinding wheel, anything like that. And you always use this tool with a with a good edge. Okay, so there goes my finial. So if Anybody's interested, I think I'll be putting um, a couple of these. Once I'm, once I'm happy with the design, I'm going to put a couple of these, um, some with handles, some without, uh, on my Etsy page. And you can have one have a go or make your own. After this video, I've got uh, footage as to how I made this one. Any questions, making your own, buying one, anything, give us a shout lathe knife awesome piece of kit once you learn how to use it which i'm far from i must admit just another tool to complement what you've got okay cheers for watching Okay, so this is um, plate steel, I think it is. Or ground plate, I think. I'll, I'll flash up in text what it is. And, right, let's uh, get organised. It's called uh, ground flat stock. <coughs> So I cut a bit off and then obviously roughly got the angle and edge how I want it. I've got it in 4 mil thick and 5 mil thick. All right. Now this is annealed but it's not hardened. Um, See if you can get some of the details. That's the five mil thickness one. This is a bit of HSS steel. And I could make it from this, but I want to give it a go of, of hardening the flat stock. Uh, so heat treating it and then tempering it uh, to the correct color. I've been playing around with the heat already. Um, basically, this torch didn't get hot enough. I've got another torch, I'm gonna try it with that. And you can see the temper colors there, there, there. Can you see silver, dark blue, purple, orangey color, and then the straw color. The straw color is what we'll be going for uh, 
after we've hardened it. Okay, right, so let's give this a shot. Got some oil there to quench in. Okay, so that will help me see the colour change. And what I'm going to try and do is heat it from this region and get a nice heat curve of the tempering colours coming over and we want this like a straw colour. That's a theory. See the colour? There we go. And we'll see if this keeps an edge. But you can see the dark blue here, that's alright. But that edge might have gone past the straw colour, I don't know. That certainly has, so I think I've gone a bit too far, so this might not be fully hardened, or at least fully tempered at the right. But we'll see, I'll tidy it up. Right, now then, so that... This is, oh, what's this? Silver steel, I think. And that is going in there, but that tongue's a bit long. I want it about there, I think. better. That is better. Well, for a math teacher, that's all right. <laughs> What the hell am I listening to? That's of course why they were struck. You just need a handle. But shout out to the I think we have such a tradition of omission. A